Welcome to the Checkpoint to Jumpstart training series. In this training series, we will be looking at the different Checkpoint Cloud Guard product lines. The Checkpoint Cloud Guard is a suite of products and solutions that can secure your data and virtual networks in the cloud. In this training video, we will examine different Cloud Guard capabilities that can be used to protect both your cloud assets and your network assets. My name is Manuel Joaquin, and I will be your technical trainer for this training module. But before we get started, let's take a quick look at the agenda for this training video. We're going to break this training video into four separate lessons. Each lesson will be a separate video. You can view them all together in one viewing or consume them separately as needed at your leisure. First lesson will be about cloud challenges. Here, we will first talk about cloud computing and the value that it can bring to an organization and why more and more customers and enterprises are adopting it. Then, we'll talk about security in the cloud. Here, we will look at some of the security challenges, limitations, and concerns when moving your assets into the cloud. Third, what is CloudGuard? Here, we'll look at some of the checkpoint solutions for cloud security, which are branded and grouped under the CloudGuard product line. We will list the individual products in this product line to give you an overview of their capabilities. Finally, we'll talk about security with CloudGuard. Here, we're going to break down each CloudGuard product and discuss how the CloudGuard product line offers some unique solutions to secure a dynamic and elastic cloud environment. In this training video series, we will talk about cloud computing. So let's go now into our first lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about cloud computing and the value it can bring to an organization and why more and more customers and enterprises are adopting it. Let's first examine what are some of the cloud challenges that can prevent customers from adopting a cloud posture. Let's talk about cloud computing. More and more customers are now moving their network infrastructure into the cloud in order to stay productive and competitive. Cloud adoption is forecast to reach 620 billion US dollars by the year 2023. This is a growing industry and the landscape is becoming increasingly sophisticated and competitive with multiple cloud providers popping up to satisfy the demand for our strategic cloud services. And there are a few reasons for that. But first, let's examine some of the challenges when using traditional networks and then contrast this with cloud computing. In traditional networks, it can take several weeks to set up and configure a server on your network. You need to purchase the hardware, you need to install the operating system, you need to install and harden the software, and finally, you need to configure and connect it to the network. Another aspect in traditional networking is that when you purchase physical equipment, you always need to project for future growth. You usually need to purchase a server or an appliance with higher capacity needs than initially required just to compensate for future growth and expansion. But in the meantime, the equipment will be underutilized. At a later stage, your bandwidth demands may exceed the hardware capacity, which means you'll need to upgrade your hardware or even purchase completely new hardware. In addition, traditional networking requires internet connectivity and security, which means you need to purchase supplemental equipment like routers, switches, firewalls, and antivirus solutions, and even an IPS appliance, just to be sure that you have not only connectivity, but also security. Now, in comparison, let's take a look at why a cloud implementation might be a better solution. First off, the cloud is dynamic meaning you only pay for resources that you need. It's like being billed for a utility such as electricity or a heating bill. Customers can rent equipment in the cloud and spin networks and workloads as needed to align with business expansion, demands, and potential business growth. 
the cloud is agile. You don't need a big team to set up hardware and networking. You can just spin up a virtual machine in the cloud within minutes. And there is no need to manage the equipment as the cloud provider does that for you. The cloud is elastic, meaning you can expand and collapse the equipment in the cloud as you grow or shrink your activity. Finally, the cloud is mobile, meaning you can provide access from anywhere. In the age of bring your own devices, this offers workers the flexibility to work from anywhere at any time. That brings us to the end of this lesson. Let's quickly recap before exiting this video. This was just a brief summary to give you a sense of the power of cloud computing and some of the advantage over traditional computing, which explains why cloud adoption rates are continuously on the rise. And so that completes our first lesson. In the next lesson, we will discuss security challenges when moving assets into the cloud. I will see you there.